Prophets and Messengers Believing in God's prophets and messengers is a fundamental part of Islam. Muslims believe God sent prophets and messengers to convey His message to humanity. The Holy Quran states, And we certainly sent into every nation a messenger, saying, Worship Allah and avoid Tagu, false deities. And among them were those whom Allah guided, and among them were those upon whom error was deservedly decreed. So proceed through the earth and observe how was the end of the deniers. Quran 1636 Every people, every nation was given a prophet, and they were sent with the tongue of their people. Muslims believe that Prophet Muhammad is the only universal prophet meant for the whole globe since he has the last and final messenger. All other prophets and messengers, including Prophet Moses and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon them, were only sent for a particular group of people or tribe who lived before us. Islam states all prophets came with the same general message to worship only one God and follow his commandments. Whereas some finer details differed from one nation or book to another, the theology and God never changed. Due to God's mercy and love to humanity, God continued to send prophets and messengers to deliver good news and warning to their people. The general message was whoever worships the one God and follows his commandments will go to paradise for eternity, and whoever worships other than Allah and goes against his commandments will enter the hellfire. The prophets also came to teach their people how to purify oneself. Every messenger was given inspiration from God. Some of those inspirations were written down and compiled to become more extensive books. The prophet and messengers that God sent to humanity to convey his message cannot make mistakes for speaking on behalf of God. Humanity could not attain true knowledge of morality and ethics without the knowledge from their creator to reveal what is truly good and evil. Muslims believe that God communicates his guidance through human prophets. These prophets were sent to guide their people not only by preaching people to worship the one God and follow his commandments, but by example with their actions. A messenger, Rasul in Arabic, has a higher rank than a prophet, Nabi in Arabic. A messenger is sent to a tribe or people that did not believe in the message and generally sent with a new revelation, divine laws. A prophet, Nabi in Arabic, is someone that was sent to a people or a tribe that already believed in the message and carried and continued the same revelation from the prior messenger before him. Every messenger is a prophet, but not every prophet is a messenger by default. The Islamic tradition states there are about 124,000 prophets that were sent to people and nations and 310 and some messengers. There are 25 prophets mentioned by name in the Holy Quran. 1. Prophet Adam 2. Prophet Enoch Idris in Arabic. 3. Prophet Nah, Noah. 4. Prophet Eber or Heber, Hud in Arabic. 5. Prophet Methuselah, Selah in Arabic. 6. Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim. 7. Prophet Lot, Lut in Arabic. 8. Prophet Ishmael, Ismael in Arabic. 9. Prophet Isaac, Ishak in Arabic. 10. Prophet Jacob, Yaqub in Arabic. 11. Prophet Joseph, Yusuf in Arabic. 12. Prophet Job, Ayub in Arabic. 13. Prophet Jethro, Shuaib in Arabic. 14. Prophet Moses, Musa in Arabic. 15. Prophet Aaron, Huran in Arabic. 16. Prophet Ezekiel, Dukifl in Arabic. 17. Prophet David, Duad in Arabic. 18. Prophet Solomon, Suleiman in Arabic. 19. Prophet Elijah, Ilyas in Arabic. 20. Prophet Elisha, Ayasa in Arabic. 21. Prophet Jonah, Yunus in Arabic. 22. Prophet Zechariah, Zechariah in Arabic. 23. Prophet John the Baptist, Yahya in Arabic. 24. Prophet Jesus, Isa in Arabic. 25. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all.
Muslims believe all prophets and messengers were mere human beings, not divine or semi-divine. They do not have the right to be worshipped, adored, revered, venerated, and nor did they claim so.